Earlier in our program, we asked you our trivia question, which was, what Bowdoin graduate made 34 expeditions to the Arctic? The answer is Donald B. McMillan, who made 26 of those trips on the schooner Bowdoin. When you think of it, the state of Maine should be a leader in boating and sailing education. And Maine Maritime Academy boasts that we are. One of their intriguing programs is for people who want to learn to sail tall ships. It's called Schooner Crew. And kids are signing up, well, in crews. And one of the reasons the course is so popular is because of the ship that they're learning to sail. The Schooner Bowden has one of the greatest histories of any ship afloat. This 88-foot two-master was built for Admiral Donald McMillan, who sailed her to the Arctic 26 times. Every, every story I've ever heard of him, he sounded like he was a very uh, uh, skilled mariner and a good leader. And uh, those are you know, the things that May Maritime is trying to teach. John Worth is the okay, skipper of the boat. Back. She is now part of Maine Maritime Academy's fleet of 100 vessels. Her students can learn to sail historic tall ships and graduate from school ready to be employed on them. It's why Colleen Peters of Trumbull, Connecticut came to MMA in the first place. As soon as I got my acceptance packet, you know, all, I got a bunch of letters from a bunch of schools, but this one sent me a poster of the Bowdoin, and I was just hooked right from that start. Donald McMillan is one of the three greatest artist explorers in history. Born in Massachusetts, he grew up in Freeport, Maine, and graduated from Bowdoin. After saving several people from drowning in Casco Bay, he received congratulations from Admiral Perry. McMillan wrote back and offered to assist in Arctic exploration. His early work with Perry caught the attention of National Geographic and other sponsors. Soon, he was leading trips on his own. He ordered the Bowdoin build in 1921. Bowden and McMillan are inextricably linked. Eric Jurgensen is the Bowden's chief mate and sailing master at MMA. Well, he was well known for taking a completely green, green crew, yeah. completely green, and sailing north of them and teaching them along the way. And I think he would have been excited to see 30 green crew step on board and get to spend a lot of time sailing Bowden. The design of the Bowden is considered brilliant. Put simply, she is easily sailed, ruggedly built, and magnificently prepared for Arctic exploration. McMillan never took an experienced sailor on the ship. Many of his crew had Bowdoin College connections. Some of them are seen in this 1991 reunion video. They were the nucleus of the group, which bought the decommissioned Bowdoin in 1968 and restored her. She got to MMA in 1991. Here, a student named Billy Sabatini came up with the idea of Schooner Crew. Schooner Crew is a volunteer program run in the afternoons. It's treated like a varsity sport. Students spend afternoons polishing brass, maintaining the original engine, and every once in a while they may fire the mini cannon in tribute to a passing vessel. Hit it! There you go. <laughs> Most important, they learn the ways of the sea on a traditional sailing ship. I figure we're a maritime school, so at a maritime school, people will want to be on a boat like this. And with the small vessels program, there's plenty of us that come here to do this. And now that we have the, the sail training concentration, people can come to a main maritime and then get on the boat and learn this and go out and actually do this for a job. To me, schooners look pretty much alike. One telltale sign of the Bowdoin is the white crow's nest 70 feet above the deck. To pick a course through the ice field, McMillan used to crawl up to what's called the crow's nest on most boats, but on the Bowdoin, it's called the ice box. Which brings up the question, why sail this ship late into the fall? Why not sail her in the summer when the weather is more pleasant? The answer to a sailor is obvious. Get this kind of wind, this kind of conditions, and that's why it's fun to have the students out here because they are they're learning skills that they probably won't be learning in the summertime, you know, dealing with a little bit heavier weather, setting reefs. And the boat's great for that. And uh, Billy and these guys get a chance to try things that they wouldn't normally do in the summertime. The program has come together well for MMA. It's a school that must be on the cutting edge. And with this old schooner, it is. I think the Bowdoin is a really you know, important asset for the school, teaching traditional sailing, teaching all of the traditional arts of the sailor, which even though you may be working on modern boats, you carry that into your professional career, even on a tanker. Students agree. 
and I've worked on both kinds of vessels, and there's just something special about a schooner that you can't describe, you just have to do it. Traditional vessels are extremely popular right now. New ones are being restored every year. With their small vessel program and schooner crew, MMA is preparing their students well in this niche field of employment. More important, they're providing adventure for young people who are growing up in a world that is all too often adventure free. What a thrill it was to be up in the ice box and what a trip to sail on the schooner Bowden and thanks to the work of the people at Maine Maritime Academy, she'll be sailing for a long time to come.